Before we get started with today's video, I wanted to tell you guys about today's video sponsor. And this is one that I've been really excited about for a good while now because I actually have been following the app's development since the beginning pretty much. So it's this new app called Octane. You can actually go to the app. The first thing that you see is this list. And whenever you go to the list, you can actually see all of the events that are around you, which is really cool. Best part about it though, if you go to map, let's say if I wanted to go to this show, for instance, I can click this and I can actually RSVP with the cars that I have in my garage. Now you're probably wondering what I mean by my garage. Um, <laughs> It's a limon. My garage basically shows you all the cars that you have and you can actually RSVP to the events that you're going to with the cars that you have. You can see who's gonna be there, what kind of cars are gonna be there, the mods that are done to them. And look how many events there are on this app already across the country. Look at Houston. Houston is littered with events everywhere. Dallas, same thing. It's really cool also because as you guys know, if you go on a car cruise or something like that, it's normally a big group of people and if you have a lot of friends going, you don't want anyone to get lost. Uh, there's a feature on this app called Drive. You can actually click the Drive feature like real-time tracking you can actually track you all of your friends and that way you're basically you're ensuring that no one gets lost it's really neat if you guys are interested in going to check it out go click the link in the description down below or go to driveoctane.com slash it's just six and download it right now with that being said let's hop into today's video where I test drive a GT 350 and decide if I want to buy it or not actually I didn't really make a decision but so since the Corvette doesn't want to stay together for me and I don't really have a car right now to drive, I'm really jealous of Doug having his Roush. We're going to go look at a car that I've really been interested in for a long time, I'm not going to lie to you. I've just never had the opportunity to test drive one or see one up close even or to really have anything to do with. Doug has actually driven one and he said that they're pretty cool. It's a stock car, which is good. Very, very low miles, which is also good. I don't think that I would buy it, obviously, but it would make for a really cool daily um but right now this is probably not the time to spend forty thousand dollars on a car if i had to say so myself being that the corvette can't even stay together but yeah we're still gonna we're still gonna go look at it maybe for future i don't know just to just to consider it doug's bluetooth won't connect so he's mad it's not a good start to a road trip bro <laughs> <laughs> never had a problem with this Telling you, I'm telling you, you just need to take your anger out with a pull on the, on the road. He did Ooh, it. that Camaro's calling out. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit, dude. No way. That is insane. No. Oh, this was a mistake already, I can tell. We were at a dealership here about 30 minutes away from where I live, and uh, this is the car that I wanted to come and check out. It's actually been on their lot for quite a while. It's avalanche gray, I believe, is the color. What do you think? You think I need it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it came with Recaro seats, Doug. Come on, man. That is really cool. These cars actually have a Tremec trans too. It's not the MT82. Basically, these transmissions, they're not like the MT82 where it's like, it's, I don't want to say it's a sloppy transmission, but it kind of is. The transmissions in the MT82, it's got like a sloppy yet really, really, really smooth gearbox. So it's like almost like you're shifting a knife through butter is what it feels like, a hot knife shifting through butter. Whereas on these Tremec trans, it's kind of like a, a snappy, um, notchy type feel every time that you shift where a lot of times the MT82 doesn't have that so that's kind of unique and really cool this is actually in the gt350s these come with the voodoo engine which is pretty cool me and doug were actually talking about this earlier it's so cool how ford names their engines they've got the terminator they've got the coyote they've got the voodoo they've got all kinds of cool stuff so these engines can rev to i think 8200 factory 8250 stock that's absolutely insane look at that each one of these come with a little plate right here that says who built the exact engine and everything and it's hand built engines which is really neat i think the hard part about this is that they already told me the deal that they would cut me on the car and it's such a ridiculously good deal but i am really good friends with the guys up here and if you guys are anywhere local make sure you come to car town in uh, monroe area they've actually helped me out quite a bit before that's actually where i bought my mustang from if you guys remember that video if you haven't seen it click up above but i came here uh probably about a year and a half ago now with cash and walked right into that door right there and that's where I bought my Mustang from. So what's going on, man? How are you doing? How's it going? Long time to see. Yeah, I know. Back again, man. <laughs> he said, I'm not going to get in there and sit in the back seat. If y'all want to go take it, y'all go take it. I was like, okay. Like, okay, we'll go take it. Yeah, sure. Don't, don't tell me twice. Trust me. I, I'll, I'll definitely take it. All right, here we go. What? Track apps, exhaust mode, sport. Oh my. There it is. Wow. Makes a big difference. 
listen to this. This is normal. All right, now this is sport. <laughs> what? It's really cool. I've never actually been in factory Recaros before either. That's really nice. So don't judge me, Jug. Jug. Uh, Jug. Don't, don't me, judge Jug. me. Don't judge me, Doug. But I'm just letting you know this this clutch still has the spring on there. So if I stall, do not laugh at me. Oh, no, it'll be fine. I'll show you how to drive it. This is why I love these guys up here. We've formed a really nice relationship where they know if they want to get me to buy a car, they they just let me go take it out for a few minutes. Then I come back all nice and giddy and they're like, all right, here you go. Here's your papers. I will say you can immediately tell that that is a freaking uh, Tremec Trans. Also, what the hell? Yeah. Look how much oil pressure. Yeah, it's cold still, look. Oil temp, what? That is so dope. I forget it's like a it's a track based car this is not a drag car by any means but it could be but it's not meant for that that's not its purpose this is actually like a circle track road course whatever you want to call it type handling of car. car handling car yeah that's a good way to put it so this thing uh has oil temp factory gauges and oil pressures is pretty nice so that way you know if you've done spun a bearing <laughs> okay i'm not gonna lie to you i really like the trans in here i really do i love mt82s but like this thing feels really good. We'll really see how it feels once you're banging gears on top. Yeah. It sounds, okay, it's weird because it sounds like, imagine if you were to take a Coyote engine and you put it through like a long tube and you heard the exhaust note through a long tube. That's what that's what this car sounds yeah, like, the exhaust like note. Modified, just like yeah, it's like a slightly different sound than a Coyote. It's like a little bit more high pitched ish i really don't know how to even explain it sounds great though More refined. it's like a refined coyote yeah refined it's, coyote. yeah that's the good way to put it doug was telling me about these cars uh for a few days now because i wanted to come look at it for shoot almost a week now probably just haven't had the time to we're gonna be gone for like an hour and a half he's gonna be like where the f are y'all at they're like oh we took it back we left you at roush stage two <laughs> <laughs> we figured that the roush was a good trade for the shelby so we just yeah, we just left it we just <laughs> figured we'd call it even. I'm really surprised at the price of this car, especially for the miles too. It's really low miles, only 30,000 miles. That exhaust note is so weird. It sounds good, doesn't it? Wow. Yeah, it's weird. Let's throw some sauce at it and see what happens. basically is on the clutch pedal so that way it, it's not too hard to, to press but the problem with it is that whenever you're letting the clutch out trying to shift fast which I, I'm not gonna say I'm the best driver but I definitely shift faster than most um, and whenever you try to shift fast the clutch pedal doesn't return as fast as it should so it slips. That's why you're yeah so it slips a little bit also what the hell this thing is Twitchy. so tight look at that yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh it's a trap what the, look at this. I'm gonna like, just barely move it with one index finger. We'll swerve across the entire lane. Let's see how she does around corners. Oh my God, dude, you are fucking kidding me. No fucking way. Oh my God, this thing feels like a fucking dart. I know that wasn't fast, but I've never taken my car even I'm used to my car is handling to where I know where it's probably about to start scrubbing and the tires are about to start slipping. This car is like, okay, what, what, was, what was that? Throw some more at me. You're definitely right though. There is like no torque at all down yeah. low on these cars whatsoever. Doug hey, just now told me that- down to first. To on first? The, go down to first on the interstate and send it to 8200. Go down to 30 and first. First gear. Let me do it. 
do what I'm trying to do with it. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely putting off coming to look at this car because I knew that I was going to fall in love with it. I've always loved the way that they look. I've just never driven one, so I can never feel one. They're really a spectacular car. There's nothing bad about it that I can see. The only downside, yeah, I'm just going to pass it up and turn around. I like the car too much. I can't stop driving it yet. <laughs> I don't want to bring it back yet. Like Doug was saying, though, a minute ago, this car is such the perfect daily driver. It's, I don't even know really what to say. It, the suspension feels smoother than anything I've almost ever been in. It's just, it rides so smooth. It handles, it, I, I don't even know. I've never been in a car that just points and shoots like this. It's crazy. Everything feels so great in it. The Recaro seats from factory, the Alcantara steering wheel, which is awesome. That snake is just like staring you in the eyes the entire time that you're in the car. It really is just a fantastic factory car. I've never been in a stock car that I was like, there's not much that this car needs, but this is it. Wow. I really can't even tell you anything that's bad about this car that I've experienced so far. Normally I'm really good about picking up on things that bother me with cars, but this is just like amazing. I normally don't like nut hug cars like this, but like, God dang, dude. I've driven a uh, Lamborghini Huracan and driving that car was amazing just i think it was more about the fact that it was a lamborghini than anything but like the same feeling of handling and stability and everything almost comes back in this car and even better so because it comes with a manual trans so you feel connected to it i'm a fangirl i'm not gonna lie that was very fast that was very very fast see i can't i can't do shit like this that's why i shouldn't have came and drove this car i knew i shouldn't have drove this, this is car exactly why you needed to i knew i shouldn't have drove this god <laughs> car look at the that is so sick. Brushed black aluminum on the dash. Oh my God, this thing is fucking sick. I tell you, <laughs> I don't ever get giddy and excited about a car. Like it takes a lot to make me like this. We're going almost 50 and I guarantee you I could downshift in first right now and we'd be perfectly fine. Yep. It's just insane. God, that's insane. Let me take this bump and see how bad it is. Completely manageable. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It's like it's like you're riding in I don't even know. It's like you're riding in a little Mercedes, honestly. I had that AMG a few weeks ago that I drove and it, it almost feels like the ride of that. If if I was a normal person that was looking for a car, the feeling that I'm feeling right now is exactly how I would know if I should get a car. <laughs> I'm about to call Nick and Daniel and them and just be like or actually no. What uh, you know what the smart thing to do? Axle oil temp, dude? It has everything. Axle oil temp. Yes. Why do you even need to read that? <laughs> because when you're tracking. I guess that's tracking. true. Inlet air temp, engine oil temp, cylinder head temperature, trans oil temp. What? This car is a track monster. I, I see that. I would love to get this car and just take it to the, uh, like NOLA Motorsports around the uh, road course there. <laughs> I, I know I could title this video. My Corvette broke again, so I got sick and tired of it, went and bought a Shelby. Don't even park it. Don't even Don't park, even park it? Don't Why? Even park it because you're leaving in it. Why do you want me to get it so bad? Because you want a car like this. I do, you I do. I don't day. have, that's what, this is honestly like the well, the, look, the key to like the most depressing that I, that like all the depression, if I, if I ever get depressed about something, normally it's just because I don't have a car that I can go drive right now. Well, now you will. I haven't had one to just go drive around on the streets in like, I don't even know how long. And then that's why I got the Corvette is because I was like, well, I'll get the Corvette and that'll be like my daily that I can go drive. And then it keeps breaking. You know, there's not a whole bunch of these around. Oh no, I know. Dude, it is a 2017 too. I'm not gonna lie, there's been a lot of cars that I've driven, but there hasn't been one that's impressed me as much. Probably, I got one of the fastest Mustangs I would say around here and I still don't even, nothing compares to this in my opinion. That's right, it's just, it's a driver's car. It just handles so incredible. The seats feel great. Everything about it is so nice. And it's even cooler too, because look at the back of the keys. Doug was just now pointing this out to me. It's all color matched. Yeah. This car has a lot more Look inside it. of there. There's oil coolers inside of the rear end back here. And that's what these little vents are for. It actually cools the oil coolers off inside of there. This is on the back of the car too, of all places. That's honestly insane. This is a lot of cool car for very cheap, honestly. That's nuts. Well, here it is, guys. What do I do? Help me. I have no clue. I guess I'm gonna have to go home and beg Daniel and everybody else to let me get it. All right, now that we're away from everybody, what do you think? I think you need it. <laughs> I mean, I said that even earlier. Yeah, I know. And I've driven one before, and I know exactly what you're feeling. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. So here's the process that I normally go through. This is like the smartest thing that I normally do whenever I buy cars is I go look at it if I want to buy it. There is there are some exceptions though. Like the Corvette, I, I didn't I didn't really care just because of the situation. It was just gonna be a channel vehicle. But if it's gonna be my personal vehicle, I'll normally go drive it 
and think on it for like two to three days. Think about every single situation and at the end of the two to three days, if I still want it and they still have it, then it was meant to be. And then I go in to start checking if I can actually afford it, <sighs> which Lord knows that I probably shouldn't right now. But Jesus Christ, is it calling my name? <laughs> it was a lot slower than I anticipated, but it was it was so refined. It is, and there's also bolt-ons in the tune. Honestly, taking the helper spring out reduces the shift time by a lot. You would be surprised. I've, yeah, that's. I've never really had a helper spring in mine either. Whenever that's I first you, got it, I took it out the first day. It's probably why you like this one because there's no helper spring in here. Yeah. Yeah, your, your, your clutch feels exactly like mine. That clutch felt really weird, but again, it's like Doug was saying, that helper spring is still in there, so that can definitely be fixed. You know what the worst part about this is, is that I can't even say comment down below and let me know what you guys think, because by the time that you see this video, I would either have it or have passed on the deal, so yeah, it, it, yeah there's no way to there's no way to even ask you guys. It's all up to you. And I know it would happen anyways. I would ask, what do you guys think? And every single person would be like, yes. absolutely, absolutely. There's, I guarantee you there's going to be like four people total in the comments of this video right now that are like, nah, don't do that. Don't get that car. I really, like, something that I would really like to have is, we've talked about it on the channel before, I would really like to be able to have a manual six-speed Audi R8. That's like, would love to have it, but at, at that point, it's just a little bit, I wouldn't say unreliable, but it's just such an expensive car maintenance is expensive on it if the clutch goes out then what it's an all-wheel drive car it's just a pain in the ass especially being a mid-engine car with a lamborghini engine believe it or not um it's just not really not really the smartest thing but it's just like one of those things that i kind of just want but that car right there that shelby that is something that you can put miles on every single day beat on every single day what is the worst that could happen in a car oh, i should have said that never mind knock on wood knock on wood I mean, even if the clutch goes out in that car, it's it's so easy. I mean, nothing about that car is difficult. You guys have seen through the times of me having my car, and we've, we've done everything with that car. And it's not a really super complex car at all, but they're a ton of fun, super incredibly reliable, and really just beautiful overall. They handle great, they ride great. Everything about that thing was phenomenal. So it's hard for me to say that it's hard for me to justify spending that amount of money on any other kind of car or even more money on a car that's going to be less reliable and potentially uh, less fun and everything else it's just we'll put it this way the price per fun factor is definitely on the yeah price per fun factor that's price per fun on this car is like a 10 out of 10. price per fun on an r8 is like a 6.5 out of 10 because you're spending so much money that it's almost like uh okay you don't even how fun it. even is this and you don't want to drive it you don't want to beat on it or put miles on it because it's such an expensive investment damn it dude that's where the mustang comes into play yep i don't know give me a little bit we'll think about it i'll figure something out Shit. anything you want on this yeah got this crap a lot to get in yeah yeah, I am not the one I think you Yeah, hey, hold up Yeah, anything you want on this dish Got uh -huh. this crippled out to get rich uh -huh. yeah. Why you even talking about your wrist?